For Dark Matter News, I'm Leo Ashcraft. The increase in availability of drones is all but certainly to cause an airplane accident, in part because it's difficult to catch people in the act of flying the small unmanned drones. CBS News aviation and safety expert Chelsea Sullenberger said Sunday that we've seen what a six-pound or an eight-pound bird can do to bring down an airplane. She said on Face the Nation, a nod to the flock of the birds that knocked out both of the engines and forced him to land a plane in the Hudson River in 2009. Imagine what a device containing hard parts like batteries and motors can do that might weigh 25 or possibly up to 55 pounds to bring down an airplane. It's not a matter of if it will happen, it's a matter of when it will happen. There's been a dramatic increase in the number of unmanned aircraft flying near commercial planes, and in some cases pilots have had to alter their courses to avoid a collision. Solenberger said the devices are becoming ubiquitous because they are relatively cheap and easy to procure, but that it allows people to do stupid, reckless, dangerous things with abandon. He says he's encouraged that aviation and the legal authorities have raised the penalties for doing these things, adding that the essential element that's still missing is the certainty of prosecution because it's been difficult to catch them in the act. Well, the Mars rover has been producing quite a few interesting photographs, to say the least, lately. One appears to be a ghostly woman, and another one may indicate an infestation of crabs on Mars. This recent Mars photograph seems to show a giant alien crab. Well, the mysterious object closely resembles the crustacean anyway. It's unknown exactly who found it, but it's really interesting. It does appear alive, it may be a crab-like animal, or it might also be a plant. This object has many arms, and one of them goes to the left of the picture a very long ways. That arm is longer than all the others. Plant or animal, well, it really doesn't matter. The significance of this may be that it might show signs of life on Mars. Take a look at the photos yourself, and let us know what you see at darkmatternews.com. It's Friday! That means open line night on Art Bell. Let us know what you think of the stories on Dark Matter News tonight. And remember, you can always submit a tip online at darkmatternews.com. Hi, I'm J. Neil Shulman, a longtime listener of Art Bell. I've also written a dozen books, a Twilight Zone episode, and made two movies. My first novel, Alongside Night, came out in 1979 with a book endorsement from Nobel Prize-winning economist Milton Friedman, who praised it for its disturbing resemblance to past history and future possibilities. Many others, including Glenn Beck, Ron Paul, and Alex Jones, have celebrated my novel for its futuristic vision of America collapsing from too much government. Now I've put my novel on the screen as a futuristic action movie. It stars Kevin Sorbo, TV's Hercules, and star of God's Not Dead. To see a vision where freedom's not dead, buy the three-disc Blu-ray DVD combo pack of my movie Alongside Night. It's $16.95, including shipping and handling. You can buy it online right now at area51movies.com or after 9.30 a.m. Eastern phone 800-527-2375. Again, buy online now at area51movies.com or after 9.30 a.m. Eastern at 800-527-2375. Thank you. After last night's show on Bigfoot... We've had earthquakes, meteors, asteroids, UFOs, volcanic activity, and something has shaken loose. Bigfoot, Yeti, the Sasquatch, the Abominable Snowman, whatever you may call it, showed up today in North Carolina. Little Eric and Little Dog Yippy, they caught it firsthand and on video. The recording is of a Sasquatch mating call, war scream, or a greeting from some other dimension. Here it comes. It continues to haunt me. In the terrifying last few moments of Art Bell's show, a final caller came in with a recording, a recording that still sends chills down my spine. I guess, do you want me to end your show with what I would think may be a Bigfoot scream that I heard out there in the woods in southeast Oklahoma? I wouldn't miss it for the world, man. Go ahead. (laughs) <laughs> and with North Korea rolling their time back 30 minutes, you may not even have heard this yet. And for those of you following politics, Fox News and Facebook will no longer be hosting GOP debates. The WWE has picked up the contract. And after Trump's shrewd remarks during the debate, Rosie O'Donnell fires back with this crazy tweet. It continues to haunt me. This is John G. with Dark Matter News.